Hello everyone, this is Nora from Nora Brown Design and today I am going to figure out how to get my blog posts to automatically show up on my Nora Brown Design Facebook page. So this is my personal Nora Brown profile. So to get to my Facebook page for Nora Brown Design I'm going to go to Ads and Pages and this is the sort of edit your page page and under applications we have a number of things here I'm going to scroll down and go to browse more applications and I'm just going to do a quick search for RSS because I'm looking for a specific one here yes here we go RSS graffiti is the one I'm going to try today and so you have a lot of information about the program and I'm just going to click go to application and uh, let's see so click here to authorize RSS graffiti and we're gonna allow RSS graffiti to access a lot of our Facebook information and so it looks like it's configured for my personal profile but I really want to get it on my fan page for Nora Brown Design so I'm gonna click this and authorize it for my fan page. Assign missing permissions. Okay, click to authorize. Post to my wall. That's what we want and we'll allow it. Okay, so now what is our RSS feed? All we need to do is visit our blog and if we right click the subscribe link we can copy the link and looks like we can just oh, okay we'll click add feed and we'll put in the URL and enter a name Nora Brown design blog source URL. You can use this entry to override the URL pointing to the source site. Oh boy, I don't know what that is. Okay, so we'll just leave the rest of this stuff standard for now and let's click save and see what we get. Well, I don't see it on my fan page. Let's check our regular page. No, we got nothing. Okay, let's visit RSS Graffiti and see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what was going on here and um, if I click show details here we get a little message. No items eligible for publishing were found. So I'm going to click on the edit button and try to see what's going on and I notice there's these different tabs here so I'm going to go to the filter tab and um, the cutoff time is something that I need to change I think um, so okay I can select from recent blog posts. Okay, this is good. So let's start from, oh, what the heck, let's start from this post right here. And I'll click refresh. Okay, that just refreshes the list. So we're going to select that. And then a story will not be posted on your wall until it is least old as, at least as old as you specify. I'm actually going to put this at, um, 30 minutes because sometimes I'll post something and then make a few quick edits to it. So better to wait a little bit before it gets posted to my wall. Okay, so let's save. Okay, as I kind of suspected, um, just took a little bit of time to catch up. So now we're looking at my Nora Brown Design Facebook page and we see we've got my latest blog posts up here 
and there are a lot of settings we can check out on the graffiti RSS application. So if we go back to our edit page page and click on edit, we can go to edit and all these tabs down here. We looked at the filter tab. The transform tab allows you to post a little note with your with each post like um, put in a note from my blog or something like that. Doesn't really seem necessary. You can change the schedule to uh, update as soon as possible or schedule it. Um, I really don't post all that often so I think once a day should probably be fine. Uh, how many posts you want to have up on your page at any one time. I'm going with five. And um, so you can also have a Twitter account. I'm not exactly sure what this setting does, but let's just go ahead and save all that. And you can also, with RSS Graffiti, add a Twitter account um, to, oh yes, it's in application settings. So, um, I've added my Twitter account and it should be posting to my Facebook page automatically, I think. We'll see how that works out. In any case, looks like RSS Graffiti is a pretty good solution for pulling in your blog to your Facebook fan page or your profile page and it's pretty full featured and easy to use. Just takes a little bit of time to update once you've got it set up.